Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is George Kerwin, and I'm uh, president of Bell and & Health, and um, I'm honored to be here. This is a, a great turnout, uh, very important subject for our entire region. I want to say right up front that uh, I feel like I'm representing the health care providers throughout our entire region, uh, northeastern Wisconsin and, and the Fox Valley. We're, we're fortunate to have a, a great system of providers, hospitals, physicians, all the other ancillary services that help support all of us in our effort to maintain our health. So I'm, I'm speaking on behalf, uh, hopefully, of, of all the providers within our community. Uh, we have our hands full, to say the least. We're responsible for caring for people uh, of all ages, including um, infants that have not been born yet. So that's, that's the breadth of, of our responsibility. Uh, that's a lot of people, that's a lot of responsibility. We're also obviously very much uh, in focus because of the cost of providing that care, the cost that uh, all of your businesses and agencies uh, pay to support the care that goes on. So we have a, a big task, very demanding consumers, uh, but very, very uh, high cost services. What I'd like to do today is, is talk a little bit about um, specifically what we're doing on the subject that we're here to talk about, uh, and that's our, our children and, and what's going on in that realm. But I also want to say right up front that, that I want to begin to establish in your minds uh, a vision, uh, a vision for how we can better fund a lot of the things that we discussed today, uh, how we can fund that potentially out of the billions of dollars that we pay for health care services. Uh, so that's the vision that I, I want you to, to think about, that, that I want to try to communicate to you this afternoon. Well, to begin with, um, what we do is, is very obvious to many of you. We are responsible for taking care uh, of children, uh, hopefully bringing them into the world in a healthy way, uh, working with their families up front, uh, and then caring for them during their developmental phase. And, and we heard a lot of good information about the importance of early childhood development, both physically and psychologically. It's absolutely critical. And we're fortunate to be in an area where the majority of our children do have access to good health care, are being raised in, in good homes with loving parents, uh, the grandmother who you, who you can sit in, there in her lap and, and feel safe. So we're very fortunate to, to be in that type of, of community. Um, we have pediatrics, general pediatrics clinics all over our region, very good access, outstanding pediatricians. Uh, we, we look at um, family practice in many ways as a way to deliver care to our children. Uh, we have great obstetricians and obstetrical departments in our in our hospitals and and as I'll touch on um, the subject that Nancy spoke about uh, that to me is going to be one of the keys in, in the vision that I want to uh, share with you uh, we also have specialty physicians within pediatrics many of them living right here in the community and in our state we're very fortunate to have uh, two children's hospitals that are really world-class, uh, absolutely the best uh, services that you could imagine. And those children's hospitals, as, as you are familiar with, reach out into the entire state uh, for funding and also for referrals, so they keep close relationships with, with all of us throughout the state, and, and we're fortunate to have that, that part of the system. Um, in, in our organization, we have uh, a very well-developed uh, psychiatric offering, and part of that offering, and, and we're very fortunate to have uh, a group of child and adolescent uh, psychiatrists who work at Bell and Psychiatric Center and care for children also throughout the region. A access is, is a concern for us. Um, I mentioned that we do have the majority of, of families and our children in, in good situations, but not all of them, and we worry about uh, children who don't have access to services and we want to make sure that those services are available to, to anyone no matter what uh, the ability to pay is. So the systems within the community 
support the free clinic uh, we've expanded that service it's offered both on the east side and the west side we have many uh, patients come into our organizations and we everyone takes patients uh, without regard to the ability to pay but we still recognize that that um, that 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 group of, of, of children in the community that are at risk are of great concern to us and and that's really a lot of what we talked about today um, there, there is another group we talked a little bit about diversity this morning and and recognize that our community as a whole is becoming more diverse uh, and, and Bellin uh, established a Hispanic clinic and it's a clinic where the physicians the entire staff are bilingual uh, and and we did that recognizing that, that there is a tendency on the part of, of our communities to want to force people to uh, speak English and, and get all up in the air about that um, and that's a good political topic but I'm telling you when it comes down to trying to care for people uh, you don't want to try to be translating when uh, the mom is delivering and having a problem in, in the OB department and you don't want to try to uh, translate when when people are, are seeking health care so we feel very strongly that that that, that type of clinic uh, needs to be here in this community um, I want to move on to a, a group of other um, initiatives that, that we're involved in and, and as I said I'm speaking on behalf of all the systems so the other systems uh, throughout the region are also involved in, in these types of activities um, and, and it's really a characteristic of this region of New North and the characteristic is that uh, we try to partner with other organizations and we what we found uh, and I think it's probably because of our relatively small size throughout this region we're not a great big metropolis and, and what we found is that by partnering with other organizations we can kind of leverage our resources and offer things that that otherwise individually none of us could offer so we are uh, involved in a, in a number of initiatives that are zeroed in on children um, the safety of children some of the uh, chronic problems that exist with children 